Everybody, Petrus Dumbass here, and in this video, I'll be sharing my thoughts on the return of uh, Russell T Davies back to Doctor Who. So, I learnt it on Friday afternoon from my Twitter feed, where my first thoughts was that I was very, very ecstatic, very, very happy, and you know, I just can't wait to watch Doctor Who again, you know, under him. But, you know, when I thought about that, you know, we have to think about what needs to come before that. And that's another series under Chris Chibnall and, and with his political correctness, which obviously I don't even like. And, um, you know, the thing is, when we talk about Russell T Davies, it reminds us of the incredible stories that he had. Um, between 2005 and 2010 across two doctors of uh, Chris Eccleston and David Tennant's one of ninth and 10th uh, doctor respectively so it's really really refreshing and very very uh, positive news and I'm certain that you know this perhaps can uh, bring back uh, the old Doctor Who fans to to return back to their usual ways of watching Doctor Who uh, for for months again and you know bring those uh, TV ratings back up you know regardless of you know whether you have BBC iPlayer or you know you watch it in a different uh, day than the day that it's uh, live for the first time on the TV so it's really really positive not just for a single Doctor Who fan or just Doctor Who fans, but I think also for the Doctor Who company or those people that are creating um, the episodes that they, I'm certain, would get much more um, positives, you know, probably in terms of budget, in terms of, um, you know, more merchandise being sold. So it's really positive all around that's uh, that's the thing that i'm trying to highlight here um you know not only is chris chibnall hated by me because of his political correctness but also um his writing on jodie whittaker's 13th doctor you know which makes her look at times very very bad makes it look like as if she's like an amateur in acting you know like you want to just cosplay other doctors that came before her and that makes me feel sorry for Jodie's 13th doctor because you know like every other doctor that i watched i'm a fan also of uh, Jodie Whittaker's doctor you know and because of her incredible acting but at times like i said it's not that great because of Chris Chibnall and it makes sense because it's kind of the same situation as to why Chris Eccleston left and didn't get along that well with um, Russell T Davies um, which resulted in him only doing one season series actually so uh, yeah I really really do feel for uh, Jody. I wished that you know this news came out much more earlier because i'm certain that if um russell t davis's return was known earlier i think there's a potential that jody could have attempted to doing a, a fourth season as a, being the doctor especially when you also have to um assume because i assume that um the series 11 was kind of like a transition uh series you know where there's so many new things and us doctor who fans need to integrate into it and uh, also noting the fact that um chibnall intended on creating new characters um new villains 
new things, you know. So I feel like she, you know, had this came out much more earlier, I think Jodie could have done a, a fourth season and who knows, we could probably see the best version of the 13th Doctor under Russell T Davies. But then again, I don't know whether Russell T Davies would have uh, wanted um, Jodie Whittaker as the, the Doctor when he's, you know, show running uh, the show. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's the, that's essentially what I can really say though. I mean, I, there's nothing much more to say apart from it's a positive. I'm looking forward to series 14 already, even though the trailers haven't come out, even though the 14th Doctor is yet to be um, unveiled and shown to the world. And for me to learn about this 14th Doctor, and um, yeah, and also not to mention that, you know, because we're going to have a new doctor as well, what exactly will Russell plan on doing in terms of improving the, uh, the quality uh, for when the audience watching, you know, the, the episodes, is it going to be another step towards, you know, this movie uh, effect side or is it going to be a return to how Doctor Who used to be, you know, like under Peter Capaldi, under uh, Matt Smith and of course the Doctors that um, Russell uh, was writing for as well. So this is also the other things that I'm obviously looking forward to see. And this is very important as well because as I said earlier in this video, this has a huge impact on... Um, whether new Doctor Who fans um, from 2023 onwards will be attracted to Doctor Who or not. And yeah, that's essentially is my thoughts. And uh, make sure to like the video if you enjoy it and also to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Goodbye.